What's up, good morning, y'all. Welcome back to another video. So I'm back out here at Falls Lake. Uh, it's early morning, beautiful morning here. Actually, it's pretty cool. As you can see, I'm wearing a hoodie. 66 degrees this morning when I first got out. And it's definitely starting to warm up quick, so I'll probably be taking off this hoodie pretty soon. We had some storms roll through, and I think we're on the end of this little bit of a front. So it might make the fishing a little bit hard today, but we're gonna see what happens. Probably the same type of deal as last time. Fish up shallow in the morning, and then once that sun gets up, start graphing, start trying to mark some fish. We're gonna see what happens. Stay tuned, y'all. Let's see if we can fish. y'all so it's uh, been a few hours now i didn't really fish too much up shallow i fished a little bit and then i was like let me just pick up and start graphing that's basically what i've been doing for the last two and a half hours probably i haven't really seen much i've fished a little bit here and there I'll, I'll pick up and fish for a little bit if i see something that might look good but i'll only stay for like five or ten minutes and then i'll pick up and move again start looking for other areas i'm about to move to a different part of the lake uh, i'm just not really seeing a whole lot of bait at this part of the lake so i'm about to move down a little bit try to find some other areas hopefully we can get on to a decent school today like we did in the last video and just uh just been graphing and graphing and graphing and trying to hit different types of areas trying to hopefully key in on something that maybe i can turn into a pattern if they're setting up on certain types of areas like points or channel bends and ditches i don't know there's a, there's a whole lot of different things to kind of figure out out here it's nothing like how just like beating the bank is you know you can figure out different patterns on the bank but here it's like you don't have anything to really look at besides your maps besides your electronics and stuff and then the graph and so yeah gonna be moving around a lot and just trying to see uh what i can find hopefully we can get on some fish today but thought i might just give you guys a little bit of an update a little mid-morning update and hopefully we can get on some fish y'all stay tuned and uh let's see if we can get some today that one was good or not the one that i just hooked up with fishing shaky out with a big worm on it and big curly tail worm i didn't even feel a bite really he just, it just felt like he was starting to pull it off so might throw that smaller shaky head in there Y'all finally shaking that pretty decent one. Knew that was fish. I was like, dude, there's no way. I don't know why they weren't into the other shaky head. First cast with that smaller one. That shaky head didn't last long in there before he bit it. I think I shook it maybe once. Finally found some fish, y'all. Yeah, that's a decent one. There we go, y'all. That's what I'm talking about. That's a decent one though, probably like a two and a half pounder. Same little thing though, little shaky head. Nice fish, let's go. I knew I got bit, I wasn't sure, but I was like, dude, that felt way too much like a bite to not be a bite. <laughs> but yeah, nice fish, about to get him in the wild, see if we can get some more. Not, not, not a giant, but 
but we're on to a little school. Okay, well, you guys might not have heard a whole lot of that, but as you probably just saw, I just caught another one. Started casting on them from a different angle, and that's what caught me that last one, I think. Marked a bunch of them. They're still in that same spot. I think they're just not feeding that hard right now. Hopefully, I just fired them up a little bit. There we go, there's another one. That's a better one. It's coming at me right now. Ah, about the same as the first one. Not, not bad though. Probably like two and a half, three pounds. Wouldn't be bad in tournament. Right now, at least for me. Oh yeah, that's probably like a three pounder. Yeah, there we go, y'all. That's what I'm talking about. That was way quicker after the last one. Yes! That is what I'm talking about, y'all. That feels so good. Oh, that dude just splashed the hell out of me. Well, I wasn't really that hot. It's not that hot today, but that dude just cooled me off for sure. Give me a good splash. Yeah, that was only not even five minutes after the last one, so that feels good. All right, there's that little guy. Gonna put him back. Just wanted to get him out of the water so he wouldn't turn off the school after he gets back down there. Yeah, there he goes. I'll keep an eye on him, make sure he doesn't come back up, but I think he's good. All right, well, they're my two biggest out of that little school. Nothing special, but probably both about two and a half pounds, maybe three pounds. Nice fish though, both going back in. All right, buddy. I think that's that first one I caught. He has a little bit of a stubby nose, as you can see right there. Pretty fish though. goes that is I think the last one I got I'm just gonna go ahead and get him back in and be on his way back down there sweet that felt good got onto a little school a couple of decent fish and we're gonna see if we can't get a few more y'all probably gonna move around now I kind of got a better idea of where I can hopefully pattern this and try to find some more fish this was just like a little like a hump in the middle of the lake on the main lake and the thermocline if you guys are familiar with that is where there's basically no oxygen in the water and in the summertime it, it creates a part of the water where nothing can really go because there's no oxygen at all in it i think right now for us it's in about 15 feet and so the fish won't be any deeper than that it gives me a better idea of where i can go to find some of these fish in some of these areas and they're sitting right about 12 foot i'd say so we're gonna see if we can't get a few more all stay tuned and wish me luck let's see if we can uh find some more schools that'd be cool if we can get onto multiple schools today that'd be a big accomplishment to me so stay tuned y'all see if we can get some more I don't know how much of that I just got, but just hooked up again. It's kind of the same spot as where I was at earlier. It was the same area, but a different spot. And it's just a little bit away from where I was catching them earlier. I just hooked up again and broke off on a, I broke off on my leader on my shaky head, which was kind of strange. Oh, let's have another one bite. First cast in here, got bit. They are definitely in there, look at that. Yeah, first cast in here got bit and he came up and jumped and, and I lost him. Cast it back in there. 
broke off. It's been a little while since I, I'd retied my leader, so that's probably why, but we're on this spot now. I found a huge school and I actually got a picture of what I saw before I cast it in here. So we are gonna see if we can't get them out of here. Looks like they're loaded right here. So hopefully we can get one to stay on. I'm guessing there's a bunch of little ones in here, but there could be some big ones, who knows? So stay tuned y'all, see if we can get some. Oh, there we go. There we go, that's another one. He feels decent. Yeah, he's decent. Definitely decent. Oh, yeah, we'll take that. We'll definitely. Oh, he freaking popped off. What the heck? What the heck? Four casts, four bites, four fish. Not in the boat. What the heck is going on, guys? Maybe I'll switch through. Hitting them from a different angle. Let's see if that works. Another two and a half pounder. It's smaller than I was expecting, or smaller than I thought when I first got him in, but boom, that's what I'm talking about. Let's straighten that up a little bit. All right, y'all, so after that first fish catch out of this school, I ended up catching another one about the same size right after it, but I ended up talking about it for a little bit, and then I ended up catching another one out of it, but it was a little bit of a smaller guy, and I actually ended up gut hooking him, and so I was really focused on getting that hook out of him and getting him back in the water. I completely forgot to save the clips off my GoPro since I do run them in looping mode. They only save the last five minutes after I hit the record button, and so I completely forgot to do that. I'm really mad at myself for that, y'all, but we're just gonna cut straight to the release footage of the two biggest fish I got out of this school. Again, I'm really sorry about that, y'all, but I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. We got some cool underwater release footage of these two guys. All right, gonna get an underwater shot, but, ah, God, their teeth are sharp, but there are my two fish from this last spot. Pretty good ones, decent little guys. I think this is that first one I finally got after like five bites here. So this guy is going back in. Well, I'm back home now. Same thing as last time, y'all. If you guys haven't seen my last video, I did talk about this some in the last video at the at the end, but that little shaky head with the little trick worm on it, green pumpkin, the rod is a seven foot six medium fast action. You can throw it on just a seven foot medium fast action. I know a lot of people probably have that set up. 3000 size reel, 20 pound braid, 10 pound fluorocarbon leader, and just a little shaky head. I don't remember the actual weight of it, but I started off with a little bit of a heavier one, had to switch down to this lighter one because I ran out of the heavier ones that I normally use so yeah it was very similar to my last video and the last time i was out there you know i feel like it's going to be kind of that same deal throughout the summer you know i might mess around with some other baits and there probably are going to be some other tactics but as far as like looking around for fish and stuff i have a feeling that it's probably going to be a little bit like that you know i went back to that same spot twice because the other spots i was trying just didn't have fish didn't have biting fish there's actually two spots in that same area that i was fishing i know it looked like i was fishing like the same spot but i was actually fishing a spot a few yards away from each other and and that second one that I caught the last uh, couple bass at, it was kind of just like a flat area. You know, there wasn't really any rock. There wasn't really any stumps, cover really anything. It was just kind of a flat area off the main river channel and they're just stacked right there. And, you know, I tried a bunch of spots that were very similar to that spot that I was catching them at after I caught them. You know, I didn't really see any fish. I saw some marks here and there, but really what I've been trying to do is, is get down to where it's more of a pattern than just me luckily finding a spot with fish on it. But haven't really gotten that yet, but I'm definitely getting more dialed in, which feels really good. 
So that is about it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Definitely check out my last video. It was very similar to this one and I just caught bigger fish. And so it was definitely a little bit more of an exciting video, but today was still really fun. I definitely feel a lot more confident in my offshore game. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to leave a like if you want to see more. Make sure to subscribe, share this video with a friend if you think they might enjoy it. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.